All right, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's yet another beautiful Tuesday, and we are live on the Polish Shoe Series. How has your week been? I hope it's been full of intrigues, excitement, uh, learnings, understanding. It has been quite interesting for me. I know it's the beginning of the week, right? But I'm sure some people's weekend was really, really full of events and all kinds of engagements. But we are here once again to learn. Hello, Mommy J Stores. Always a pleasure having you in the house. Hello, Akiwumi Toy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the feedback. <laughs> I feel pretty today. Oh, Malicha did a good job. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so we are going to have an amazing time. I'm super excited. Yes, our guest is in the building. Hello, good to have you all thank you ngo of life thank you jenny thoughts for joining us today it's yet another a beautiful experience in the pot on the polish shoe series where we talk about all things appearance behavior and communication as we continue to upgrade and upscale ourselves making ourselves global citizens making ourselves relevant and significant all over the world now today i have another original in the house and he is right here with us already i can't wait for us to start but let me quickly introduce him because i don't want to waste any time this is fresh off the runway trust me all right so let me just read out obina omero's um bio as we begin to to talk as we begin to engage right in this conversation all right so obino omero is one of nigeria's leading fashion illustrators for the brand uh and he represents the brand omero ng on instagram as well as as drawn by obi he is a he's a triple threat right <laughs> he's a a triple threat in the area of style, design, and illustration. Obina, if you can hear me, please send me uh, a request so that I can add you right away to the conversation. All right. So, um, Obina Mera has been acknowledged locally by top personalities such as Michelle Day Day, Tiffany Amber, Tiffany Amber. I'm sorry, kind of having some technical issues here all right so tiffany amber does uh emmy caspid orange couture larry de silva jay and also globally having his works cited uh cited by nisi nash shalin woodley mark jacobs and even anna wintour wow so and um obina has been around the world with his with his works illustration style and design obina please send me a request so that i can add you to the conversation right away so obina takes the principles of function structure applying them to art and style through his illustrations and fashion designs respectively in 2011 while pursuing his bachelor's degree, he began taking on styling projects such as ad campaigns for Uti Nwachuku, as we know, is a BB Big Brother celebrity, one of the winners and top winners of Big Brother Africa, as well as our very own Yemi Alade, who is one of Nigeria's fast moving music artists that we have in Nigeria here. All right, so in 2015, he began teaching fashion illustration, sharing his self-trained knowledge with aspiring fashion designers and illustrators, having tutored over 500 budding entrepreneurs and counting. Obina is renowned as an inspiring tutor across Nigeria, both privately and in fashion schools, such as the Fashion Academy, uh catty okay all right i just saw your request i'm sorry okay catty anthony and jacobs and just one in 2016 the vision father 
blossom into the birthing of a fashion design brand focusing on redefining contemporary design, contemporary menswear on the continent. With a growing clientele base of Nigeria's vibrant fashion forward youth and young at heart, even celebrity personalities such as Ice Prince, Kenneth Omero, Mawuli Gabo, Ike Onyama, the brand is definitely on a quest to take the world by storm, one outfit at a time. So with each season's presentations, he aims to take his audience on a journey. He has always been one, one to focus on the fantasy aspect of fashion, but Obina is very much a product of needle, thread, and the hard knocks industry of Nigeria. He built his business slowly, working for a decade from his apartment, creating clothes about nostalgia and memories of his own childhood. Right, so in rapidly expanding fashion industry, Obin Omera also designs and consults both privately and collaboratively with some fashion houses and fashion brands across the globe till date. And Obina is here live to give us some meaning and perspective to what it is all about being an original. Today, we have brought yet another original to your screens. Please join me to welcome Obina Omera. Hey, Obina, good to have Hi. you. By the way, Hi. congratulations, huge congratulations on your win. I didn't mention that I was leaving the best for last. Thank Obina you so much. just won the design, how do you say, design for the stars? The first so, ever AMBCA's design for the stars competition. Right. He came out as the top for the male category, uh, male designer uh, from that uh, runway project. So congratulations, Obina. We are oh, super you. excited for you. So let's start from there, talking about originality. We, some of us, have followed your work closely. I don't want to let out the secrets yet, probably till the end, so that some people will not think oh. I'm biased. But we have seen your works over the years. You have been consistent in obscurity. A lot of times people do not even know. The first time I heard illustration was from you, and I was like, what in blazes is that? <laughs> what is that? And then I remember very quickly Googling, you know, just putting in hashtag illustrations. And I saw a lot of Chinese design, a lot of Chinese illustrators just pop up in the sea. I said, this is not even something that is covered in Nigeria. It's all the way in Asia. Why is it something that you, you, you went to? But like I was saying, over the years, we have followed you. You have consistently been in that space where you were original from your childhood days when you were the Lego uh, 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 mogul designing and creating all, si all kinds of things with Lego when Lego was not even uh, uh, um, yeah. when it wasn't even popular then yeah. up to this time I mean we've seen you as an illustrator and then you evolved to become a stylist and then you became a full-blown designer for a couple of years before now, this uh, accolade has been added onto you as the number one design, top designer, male designer in the Design for the Stars competition. So what has it been like for you, this journey? And also I want to, you to answer the question, what does being an original mean to you? What does it mean in, in, in the process of answering this question? Okay, so being an original, oh, oh, was, not, okay. in, not in regards to the show or anything in particular. Now, being an original yeah. um, has to a lot to do with being oneself. Has a lot to do with being at peace with the decisions you make in life. And those decisions, right from waking up, is how you go about your day.
Yeah. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Okay, we can see you and we can hear you now. For a minute, we lost you. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, I said um, originality has to do with every decision that you make throughout your day, from waking up to your going out to um, your, what you like to eat. Um, what you, every decision that you make has to do, has to resonate with your mind and does it agree with you? That's originality in every sense of the word. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Okay, yeah, we keep missing you in between. Oh, only that we have so much energy to burn, like I'm busting. I'm trying to hear. Oh, I know. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get. To it. We're good now. We're good now. Okay, okay. So you are talking about being an original, being at peace with yourself, you know, just being comfortable with who you are. So I, I want you to take us down memory lane now from the days that you started up till this moment where this has seemingly come, it's like a dream come true for you as in how has the transition been? The times that uh, maybe you doubted, was it the right place to be? I mean, being an original can be that one of those journeys, right? That you, you go through and sometimes people don't even understand who you are, what you're doing and where the trajectory of your life. So what really has it been like for you continuing to stay in that original state that, of who you are, authentic person that you are? I was going to cut you at some point and be like, do, you, do I even know, let me use myself, did I even know <laughs> what I'm doing? You know, you were talking about Googling um, fashion illustration. And to be honest, I didn't even know what I was doing. So all, right. all I knew was that I wanted to enjoy what I was doing. And what did I enjoy doing? I enjoyed um, drawing. And wow. I enjoyed clothing. So I just thought in my head that I'm sure there's something that combines drawing and clothing at the same time. Mm -hmm. I kept doing just that without even knowing the term um, illustration when I was much younger at the time. So I kept doing that till I found out, came, stumbled upon the word and I was like, oh, so apparently I'm a fashion illustrator. There's even something like what you've been doing, right? You get so that was a realization for me, and I was like, okay, how does this work? How does it go? And you look around; it's so hard to be um, original in a sense when you look around and there's nothing set before you as an example. Mm. So most of life, we look at things around us, and oh, this is the way to do this. This is the way to do this. Then you can add your original touch. You can add your mm. twist. But when you're on an island and it seems like there's nothing else, um, like there's nothing there to support no you, guide. to guide you, you are doubting yourself. Are you actually original or are you just a mistake? Are you a fluke? Are you an imagination? Mm, right. So many things come up into one's mind, but um, being true to yourself now you, we have to we go back to what i said earlier being mm -hmm. at peace with yourself and being true to yourself would give you a sense of perseverance mm -hmm. to move forward so you might not necessarily know what you're doing but you know that this thing sits well with me and it mm -hmm. makes me it gives me peace it's valuable i can move forward with it mm -hmm. Awesome. That that's an interesting way to. In fact, when you were saying that you you were doing things that you you, you were not even sure what you were doing, as it I, I, I could resonate with that. There was a time where I was trying to. I mean, was it makeup artistry? Was it mm. refinement? Whatever. But at the time when I realized when I when 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 I heard the word polish, for example, and I knew that this. Had was like a cap to everything that I Every I represented as a person and embraced myself as the polish coach. So that was when it made sense. Like, because when someone says, "Oh, you're a makeup artist," I'm not really a makeup artist. It's not just makeup artistry that I do, right? It, yeah. So there was more to it. But when it came, I said, 
yes, this is it. This is this is what I've been looking for. Yeah, so I can resonate that, with what you are saying. That brings me to another aspect in the sense that the society creates... Society is just um, a weird construct in the sense that mm -hmm. it gives us it gives us a buffet of mm -hmm. so many options. And if you're the type of person that is nitpicky, society looks at you like, hmm... Are you mm -hmm. trying to be greedy? Is that like I, what are you trying to do? <laughs> Create something new. So yeah, why, why not just up? fit into the box? Just exactly. Why don't one. you fit into one box? Why don't you mm. pick a struggle? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? The society would always have um, opinions on one's decisions. So right. it still boils down to what makes you happy at the end of the day. And I wouldn't just say happy because happy sometimes is a bit fickle. And mm -hmm. things make you happy, and those things might not last. But I would say, what gives you joy and what gives mm -hmm. you peace mm -hmm. are the things that you should be gunning for. Um, mm -hmm. You were asking about uh, my journey and the whole process, and I would say that, in as much as I have suffered all the challenges that come with the industry and every possible imagination. We know mm. where we are in and we know how things work. Every possible imagination, I've gone through it. But one thing that even on the most stressful days, one thing I know is that I feel at peace with mm. what I do and with what I do at the end of the day. Hmm. Awesome. Awesome. What a way to start our conversation. All right. So um, I was, I mean, I had mentioned it earlier but um, I, I want to still come back to that point where I was asking what the, were the points where you really doubted that? <laughs> I know that, like you said, society tries to put a cap on you to say to confine you or to define you or give a certain definition. And you really don't want to fit there. But were there yeah. times where you really doubted that oh, maybe I should just go do something else because... It, it, it was really difficult being able to consistently be in that space without either people really seeing uh, um, the results that you're trying to bring forth or even understanding uh, what you are trying to create. And uh, um, so what was, how was that experience for you? Um, that I mean, looking at you right now, you were looking like, you were looking, you know how you have that eye of, oh my God, you know, you, you just, it just, I can tell that it, it was heavy, right? The doubt comes every day and I'm mm. sorry, but I might be teary eyed, but the doubt comes oh. every day in the sense Don't that- Don't worry, I've got tissue. There's no tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll be fine. Um, Yeah comes every day and when would I say that started the first time it it starts hitting um, is when at, it, I think it hits most times when you have to take decisions yeah mm -hmm. so let me give an example of like um, high school you're getting to um, senior school and you have to make a decision, science student or art student. And you're like, mm. I like science and I also like art. Do I have mm. to, do I have to um, settle into like a particular box and, you know, can't I, isn't there some option out there where I can eat my cake and have, have it? the best of both you know, worlds. But society, like I said, society keeps giving you this construct of it's A or it's B and or it's black or it's white and it's really not. Okay, fast forward to um, um, university and you're in university, you're studying um, something, maybe medical or this or that, but you know, you, you, sometimes we really just, let's be honest with ourselves, we really just go to school for going to school sick and you're not present you're just getting by you're getting good grades it's not an issue but you're not present because you're, you're not, not like, yeah involved really interested and involved mm -hmm. and in, like there's no part of what you're learning you're learning things yes and it's a good experience to go to school but 
that thing doesn't give you enough drive you know mm. so um you're in school and for me i was working at the time i had bad grades i wouldn't even lie about it i had bad grades because it's not easy juggling both worlds being a creative and being in school at the same time. sometimes i'm working sometimes i have to work sometimes i have to do a couple of things and you know i really can't manage on both sides so those are times where i look back and i'm like should i just quit this thing and concentrate on my studies so that i can mm -hmm. get a good, good life and all whatnot you know or do i push for that so most most days yeah in the middle you're like which one should i focus on today and you know move forward with Society keeps reminding you every day, maybe when you have like bills and you have a lot to do and you're like, ah, this hustle is not paying as much as I thought it would have by now and you know, I have bills to pay. So you, the doubts come. If it's for doubts, the doubts come um, seasonally and all whatnot, but we still try to push through and push forward and might let me add that God has been very faithful. Because mm -hmm. there are so many times. I was going to ask, so what exactly yeah, helps you to pull through those yeah, times? At the edge, I have um, suffered depression. Um, yes, I have suffered depression at a particular point in time because I think that was a particular year in school when I just looked at my grades and I was like, oh, wow, I might not even graduate. I Like, there were possibilities of not graduating, having an extra mm -hmm. year or... We can hear you now. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, literally failing. And... I'm so sorry. I have so many calls. I know. You are distracted. like the hottest thing so... since sliced bread right now. So, uh, we're having this exclusive conversation. So, uh, interrupting a lot of yeah. things. We know. We know. <laughs> okay, fine. So, I was saying... Um, um, depression because I was like literally I... failing. I was failing at school and um, I mm. was like, am I going to graduate? What are like your parents going to say? Like, what? how is family going to feel? And, you know, so many thoughts were going through my head and it was a very, like one of the darkest moments in my life and um, I thank mm -hmm. God for stepping in when he did because he literally saved me i don't know what could have been i might not be here now to be having this discussion with you but um he literally mm -hmm. saved me at that point in time redirected me and gave me a purpose which mm. i believe i'm living out right now hmm. wow this is this is powerful and the interesting thing about being an original is that we're targeted it's targeted as at young people because they are, I mean, we bring young people like us, you know, like us, like. <laughs> Please well, we to be old. People, Nobody wants to be old. I'm telling you, it's in the mind, right? We bring young yeah. people like us so that it's not like, oh, it's older people. They don't know what I'm going through. They don't know what I've been through. This is a young person telling you their story towards success and the down times that they've been through. So it's something that we all can resonate with, we all can connect with, because at one point or the other, you've found yourself in times when you're really down and you're really asking yourself if you're in the right place at the right time, if, if um, you have what it takes to make meaning out of life, so to speak. So out of mean, life, is, exactly. Even though we are laughing and gisting about it, it, these are really deep uh, uh, conversations that we're having here to be able to literally pull somebody out of depression today. That there's no moment, no point in your life that you cannot have a turnaround. And Obi is saying that at that moment he felt like God stepped in. And literally pulled him out I, of the situation. I actually didn't want to say it, but yes, the darkest was the thought of suicide. That's how dark it got. So hmm. I know people out there who like are maybe into some different types of situations and you've thought of the worst things. 
But one thing I can promise you is that um, I'm not trying to preach, but yes, I am trying to preach at the same time. You should stick to stick to God. That's mm. all I can stick this to God. Yeah, it, this this is powerful, and I hope that that is going to help somebody pull out of quagmire because. Sometimes we look at people and we think, oh, they're successful. They have it all figured out for them. You know, they have creativity. They've got skill. I don't have anything. But when they share their stories, when they tell you their stories about even with some of the talents, some of the yeah, biggest thanks. talents, they thanks. don't even have those thanks. opportunities. When thanks. they start telling you their stories when they started... Because a lot of people need to hear this, right? Obina, yeah. some of them don't even know how many probably designers that you have to work with are behind yeah. the scenes and make their work look good when it was your work, literally, that is making their work look good. Mm. So people don't see all of the backstage happening, so to the speak, until suddenly somebody looks like they've blown, like they say in Nigeria. Or mm. that they, they suddenly uh, um, hit jackpot or something, right? So these are journeys that have started tens of years, maybe 10, 20 years ago. And today, <laughs> the results are coming forth, right? So in my journey, because this is probably a question a young person is asking, in my journey towards becoming this original person, what are the things that I need to make priority? What are the things that I need to pay attention to? Obina, did you get that? Yes, I did get that. Um, in a journey of originality, well, I, I think I really listed one thing, um, being true and being at peace with yourself and your decisions. Um, a relative of mine once told me that Thing. you have um you have a gift no doubt um but that ship you can only you have to take charge of it hmm. yeah like a ship in the water you know and trust me <clears throat> nigeria will push that ship economy <laughs> will push that ship. your family will push that ship your friends will push that ship everything around you will push that ship but mm. are you going to fight back or are you going to be adrift mm. that's the question one would need to ask yourself to find your own level of originality are mm. you even living an original life like can you mm. say that you're proud of the life that you're living or are you mm. living some life somebody you know? else's life we should start the um, original conversation not even in terms of originality in terms of creativity are you living an original life are you living the life that you want to live that you're proud of and every like you can own your decisions at the end mm -hmm. of the day because some people live life and just okay maybe something comes up and say and they're now like um ah is this person's decision or is this person that told me to do this or to do that if i did not do this now you get you're living life looking for who to blame for mm. situation but no, an original life is one where you take up responsibility, responsibility. For and your decisions. I started initially by saying originality is also waking up every, like decisions you make across the day. So it flows mm. in. It boils down to all your decisions and are you ready to take responsibility for each and every one of them? Hmm. Wow, this is powerful, um, Obina. Taking responsibility is a huge assignment. You know, a lot of young people in today's world just think that, okay, maybe you've got a skill, for example, to sing, or you are a digital content creator, or you are mm -hmm. even um, um, in the digital space, or you are um, an aspiring artist or um, entrepreneur or even working in the banking sector, for example, but you are waiting for somebody to hand down something to you or to notice that you are good in a particular skill or the other. So they don't apply themselves, right? They don't actually, they're not intentional. I'm, I'm saying this uh, to piggyback off what you said 
about taking responsibility. That is your responsibility to take ownership of the outcomes that you uh, you are expecting to see, and it has to be a day to day experience. So every day, for example, for you, you consistently find yourself sure. designing, creating content, thinking, processing in the area of your relevance which is mm -hmm. illustration and style and design now somebody who is in sorry how consistent okay. have you been for example in uh, um being intentional in what you want to what what you want to see people what you want people to know you for do you understand so in the banking mm. sector, for example, how are you, if you're in customer service, how are you being intentional as a customer service officer? Or how are you mm. being intentional in your content creation? Are you just doing it, mm. expecting people to just laugh and smile that, oh, okay, that you are doing this and then what? Do you understand? Nobody owes you anything. Mm. So, I mean, how can you encourage Nobody. people? <laughs> How can you encourage people, uh, young people, not to have that entitlement uh, uh, mentality where you just feel that, oh, because I did something, you put it out on social media, you expect somebody to like it. But hey, there are people who have been posting for years uh, until yep. suddenly one post just changes the, the game for them. How consistent yep. have you been over the years? So how can you like, you know, advise young people to not have this entitlement mentality because it looks like it's the e instant generation where we just want to throw out one thing and then we'll just that's, blow. that's the word i was looking for so well um fortunately and unfortunately we're in a generation where it's all about speed uh, how fast are you to be the um the eighth thing and everybody wants to like get there in like tomorrow. And if I'm going to use myself as an example, I, um, okay, in terms of even illustration, I've been drawing for about 15 years. Wow. People would, pro well, professionally, um, professionally, yeah, that would be like 13, 12 years, you know? Um, I came from a time where it was just, it was the launch of Fashion Week in Nigeria. I remember you some funny signage at the bottom of your drawings <laughs> back that in the day. We have evolved. <laughs> we have evolved, you know. So um, the Fashion Weeks were just developing in Africa, in Nigeria. Let me not say Africa, in Nigeria. And I, I um, the honest truth is that if you have been practicing you would be ready for the opportunity where when it comes using myself as an example again um i used to draw like i said i enjoyed drawing and i just kept doing it and just kept doing it it wasn't like a like a plan to be professional or anything i just kept doing it for the fun of it and kept on going now fashion weeks what come it called again phoenix incorporated or something like that Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Yes, I used to have a blog and I used oh to sketch there and post it online. There was no Instagram. Thank you. Yes, there, there was, was no Instagram. Instagram. Was no thing. So, you're yeah, out here with your talent and it's literally like standing on the road, like, hello, see me, oh, do you get what I do? <laughs> when I'm seeing people on Instagram and they are, um, feeling that ah, publicity and all whatnot is not coming. And I'm like, wow, then you don't even know what, what it is to struggle for your identity. Mm. Because it was literally a word of mouth situation then. My mm -hmm. first job was a recommendation from someone who knew that I could do a particular thing. So mm. it comes down to maintaining your consistency. Whether Hi, I see what you. you whether anybody is watching or not, you know, you have to maintain your level of consistency and dedication to your craft mm -hmm. because you don't know where that opportunity is going to come. 
Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to be in a time and a season when um, um, people needed, now started to need illustrators. illustrators. But you had already been illustrating before, I had been. before then. Do you get I didn't know what it was, to mm -hmm. be honest, but I was doing that, you know. And then the word came up and people now that needed... there was a need. A need so was there's a need of it. preparation that always needs every opportunity and mm -hmm. the two of them have to match. If you're mm -hmm. not prepared, you would not be... You would not even be able to make it. You will not know what is required of you at the time. So mm. there's always a lot of preparation that is always needed. And do you know when these opportunities are going to come? Nobody mm. knows. Nobody you know? knows. So you have to stay ready. You have to mm. live. And I'm not just talking about like on the creative side. Even your day-to-day, nine-to-five. Some people think that, oh, um, I'm going to meet, I need to meet a... Aliko Dangote. But I was going to say Aliko Dangote. I need to meet an Aliko Dangote. And in all honesty, are you ready to meet Aliko Dangote? Exactly. You meet him. What are, you the meet him, what are you What's going the to say? What is the quality of the conversation you're going to have with him? What is, thank you. What is the quality of conversation you're going to have? Now, let's not even go into quality of conversation. Let's look at your appearance. Are you ready? Do you, you know, have a lot of people don't pay attention cut? to that. Do you have your nails cut? Do you have your, your hair done? Yeah, if you're a lady, do you have your hair do done? Do you speak well? Are your clothes clean? Do you speak well? Do you smell nice? So we always have to be ready for that thing. They say dress that for uh, big the job you dress for the job you want, not the one you have. You always have to keep looking up to what's the next thing and staying in that position mm. to actually be able to attain that next thing if you're not ready or you run into him by mistake well you might be lucky the, if you were not ready but you don't want to take that chance with luck because you may not you have another ready, opportunity you have another. so you need to be ready on your own part and it also helps your confidence at the same time mm. if you're more confident in yourself being original in yourself, you're like you're, you're self aware, you're aware of yourself, you would be able to stand in the presence of anybody and defend your case. Hmm. Hmm. Very true. Okay, so let's let's take it a notch higher. Our time uh, is already counted. I want to come oh my in. God. We've talked to, it's we're... been it's been short, but it feels like forever. <laughs> <That time is. laughs> right. Okay. So let, let, let's take it a notch higher. So we've really talked about a little bit of illustration, right? Now I want to mm. go into the area of style and design. What was it for you? What was the mm. attraction for style as in that makes you an original? Because I see your content on As Drawn by Obi. That is the illustrative part of your work. And then I see your content as the designer in Omero NG. Um, at omero.ng and then I see your work in um, Obi Nomero that's the area of styling so how um, what is the attraction for you what has been the attraction for you in the area of style and design can you hear me Obi now Oh my, can anyone hear me, please? Can you, if you can hear me, show a raise of hands. You know, I can hear you. Some comments that I know that it's not from my end though. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, Obina left. Okay. Um, if you can hear me, please, can you? send me a wave of a hand we have been having an amazing amazing conversation with obina omero who by the way just won the design the amvca's design for the stars competition and um he also won in the category for oh thank you so much mommy j stores for that feedback thank you fadiba for that feedback as well right you uh, <laughs> you both have to share skincare for men too okay i'm gonna ask that question to obina when he comes back
But I mean, we've been having an amazing conversation with Obina in the area of his uh, or originality. He is uh, three. Was a cheesy chichi. I'm so sorry. You, you sent a, a, a request. Today is Obina's day. So please, um, I'm so sorry. Uh, hi, Akoa. Welcome. Thank you, Styles Moto. I'm hoping that Obina is going to okay. He's back. So we have been talking with Obina in terms of style and design. And we are super excited because he shared so much. Don't worry. I'm going to post this video. Trust me, I'm going to post it so that you can catch up on what the conversation we've been having with Obina. Yeah, he's having a little bit of network glitches, but he is Hi. right back. Hi. How so, are you? So, difficulty when in Nigeria, so let's be honest, it's not easy. <laughs> All, All right. right. So, I was hearing okay, everything yes. that so you did said. did you get my question before you left? Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. So, yeah. um, for the benefit know, of I'm... those who are just coming in, I was just asking that in the area of style and uh, design, what was the attraction for Obina? So he's just about to answer that. Yes. In all honesty, um, it's always been fashion for me. It's always mm. been, um, it's always been the flair of fashion. To be honest, the mm. I'm not talking about the snatch waist and all whatnot of this era. I'm talking about <laughs> what did you say? The snatch runway. Waist? <laughs> no, like nowadays it's all about slaying and looking snatched and all whatnot. But yes, I'm talking about the imagination. We've played down, and I would say this anywhere, we've played down a lot on the creativity hmm. to an extent in these parts. Hmm. And it's hmm. more of the person. But fashion hmm. was always about an idea, expressing an idea. The person is even just secondary and should be like an assistant to the idea. You should be assisting mm. them. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, it's always about the flair. Of, I fell in love with the runway, the fashion shows. I used to watch video fashion as a kid. So it was always like amazing. That was um, you know, video fashion Sit show down and see what Milan people and Mary, not Nigeria. Yeah. You, yeah. Not in Nigeria. Not in Nigeria. We didn't have the fashion show <laughs> that then here in Nigeria. So yeah, I always amazed at what people are creating. And that was my major inspiration that's what made me fall in love with um fashion and design, design. and style now, hmm. was i going to be able to do it bringing um being in um nigeria Main i was dream. like uh, fashion well in nigeria. i don't well i don't think so you know so um well i just thought that okay at least let me just you know keep enjoying myself drawing even if i don't even become a full-blown designer i can enjoy mm. the benefit of like being well an illustrator at the time even though i didn't know what that what that was you know so that's how i fell in love with um fashion as for mm. style um i would say um well style is a no, product way of back. You know that, right? We've been, we, we've been yeah. styling we've been, before. We've been styling way back. Um, style is a product of influence. Now, we're mm. influenced by the things around us, and those things make us make certain decisions. Um, mm. The way you grow up, the way you are dressed as a child, you know, mm. when your parents wear you those new clothes, the way you put them together, the way they put them together, actually, you know, mm -hmm. because at that point you don't have total control of um, the decisions of what you have to buy and wear, you know, but mm -hmm. the way they put it together and give it to you till you now mature to the point where you're now buying your clothes, all that, um, all the way they dressed you till you could dress yourself, mm -hmm. it influences what? So I would say you my style was come. influenced a lot by growing up by my family, The well, the clothes I was fortunate enough to have and I started um, learning how to put colors together, learning how to put things together. I've adventured into so many um, types of style. To an extent, I had to learn about style. We had to mm -hmm. learn about style. You yeah, know, yeah, put, yeah. Um, um, a course together because you cannot preach what, what you do not you know, know, what you do mm -hmm. not have. You cannot speak about what you do not know or what you do not have. So until mm -hmm. you embody it before you mm -hmm. can pass it on to someone else so style was a lesson for me i cannot i could not afford um 
going to some fancy school or taking some fancy course. So always use things at your disposal. What did mm -hmm. I have? I have ETV. I can watch ETV and I can learn about style. I mm -hmm. learned about style a lot from the professionals that I saw on mm -hmm. TV. So most mm -hmm. times we think that we do not have access to the to best of things. information or is. until but, we go for yeah. an official training, that's when you're learning. But there are unofficial you ways did. to learn. Thank you. So um, you need to always think back and look around and be like, okay, I don't have that, but I have this. Let me start mm -hmm. with this and see where, you know, where it goes and where it, it takes goes. me at the end of the day. You know, so that's the mentality one should always have, especially anyone in this day and age, because we're a lot. We're a lot of people and it might seem like the opportunities are not, but yeah, there are opportunities, but it might not go round to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So what... Um, resources around you are you taking advantage of mm -hmm. are you spending time on social media admiring just looking at what other people are busy or doing jokes or music or are, or are you using your social media to find who are the people doing the things i'm doing are how are they doing the things i'm doing how can i do what they are doing better mm -hmm. than them so these are the ways you need to be thinking if you are going to not just be original but take your originality to the next level. To the next level. True, true, true. Fantastic. I mean, Ovina is with spitting fire here. Guys, if you don't have your pen and paper and write it down, a O Y O is your case. <laughs> like in Nigeria, we say, Oyo. If someone tells you, Oyo, okay, you're, okay. <laughs> you're in Oyo states. All right. Yeah. So, um, as we, I mean, we have really few minutes, but. Um, Ovina, if you were to to um, encourage someone, because yeah, we've been talking to the young people, you know, sharing, and it, it's really been passionate, a passionate conversation. But we have some older people who might stumble on this uh, conversation and begin to feel like, oh, these are young people achieving great fits, seeming great fits at their young age, and um, I don't know. I'm in this position where literally I'm in my night season and um, I don't think there's much that I can accomplish now. So really, what would you tell somebody who is feeling that way? I mean, earlier you talked about depression and depression that even made you to even start considering suicide. No one probably knows about that part until you shared it with us today. But there's other people who are older who just feel completely washed out, completely unfulfilled, and um, they're, they're unachieved on the highest levels. And uh. probably are about to give up because they've lived for so long in their minds. They've lived for yeah. so long and they've not just yeah. been able to accomplish something. What is this that, that you can tell somebody who finds themselves in this uh, mental state of mind? Okay, so, um, wow, I've never been asked in that way. I'm thinking, how would I speak to someone who is probably much older than I am and, you know, my notes were... But I think I will still repeat all that I've said with an addition that it's, I don't think it's ever too late or too early to live the life that you want to live. Mm. I don't think there's any rule at any age that maybe school is not for um, particular people and maybe not even necessarily school. Like I know uh, my friend's mom um, she's retired, but what does she do with her time? She went to a baking um, school, hmm. and she makes like the best meat pies. Right. Now, probably nice someone one. has just realized that you know what? I really enjoy being in the kitchen. I really enjoy cooking and stuff. I may not want to do it on like a large scale large where scale, yeah. I'm busy, I'm hectic, it might like have an in, um, effect on my health. But for that little five, ten minutes, um, one hour, or like a few hours in the day that you're doing that thing, you feel better. You feel at ease. You like enjoy what you're doing. These are the things that 
make people actually live long. Long, right. Because we look so at a lot of really like, not... um, celebrities. The ones that have actually lasted long are people that you can say that this person enjoys what they do. Yeah. Like, they, they will wake up in the morning and they're like, let's go get it. Like, mm. we're ready for the day. Do you know what I mean? But if you are consist constantly um, waking up and you're like, mm, another day, another issue, you know, you're going to take out of your life without even knowing it. So mm. I would encourage anybody yes we have so much responsibility and so much to do is a busy is a hustle and bustle life but if mm. you take out time if you actually take out time and you might not necessarily be creative like i just said this is a lady that owned a whole school but she enjoys making pastries mm. you know there are the little things of life that we actually enjoy that maybe society has made us it can become but those Massive. things are actually, the little things are actually very, 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 very important. So mm. find the little and give more time to them and see if you can make value out of them. It's mm. not wrong to make value out of the things that you like to do. That was right. one of the things I read like growing up. Find what you like to do and charge for it. And that's what I started doing. I found what I love to do and I started charging for it. I started for charging for it. Okay, so they can find something, you know, as simple as just meeting a need and charge for it. Yep. Absolutely. I think that Absolutely. works. So that you're yep. not putting any pressure on yourself, like on yourself. you want to now go full scale exactly. and exactly. have a chain of stores and all of that. It may not go to and that, comes, but it's just something of... that keeps making you excited, wake, making you excited want to wake to up live. every morning, excited every to morning to and uh, focus your energy and your passion on. And it continues yep. to bring out the youthful side of you, like you rightly said. And don't take it too seriously. I think that's what I was also picking from you, because sometimes you put that pressure we take life on a ourselves. Bit, we take life a little bit too seriously. Too seriously. And, well, let's be honest, um, um, in the country we're in, yeah. it's even tougher. We don't make out time for a lot of the little things. A lot of the not necessarily fun might not necessarily be oh to you. I don't know. Everybody has their Absolutely own idea of fun, team, but you can create. You can create um, little pockets, little worlds. You know, from your kids to hanging out with kids to hanging out with older people. You mix your crowd. You learn mm. from different situations and just open your mind. To be able to take in the world around you because if you mm. wake up i'm going to work i need to do this i need to do that uh, mm, and then go back to bed at night it becomes robotic right i don't think anybody is going to enjoy being a robot mm -hmm. fantastic thank you so much uh, obi namin it's been a beautiful conversation with you and congratulations congratulations thank you on being the number one male designer ever or the first ever amvca um design for the stars competition thank you. male thank you so winner what what what's up for you are there anything's coming up i know amvcs is coming up this weekend is uh, anybody wearing are you gonna let us in on the secret somebody's wearing your your pieces on the wrong way who should we look out for or should we look out for you are you gonna be at amvcas <laughs> he says mm. so okay so we, can, um, we only have to wait to see what will happen see. on the wrong way okay yes, we'll wait, wait, we'll wait. We, wait are wait. we are super excited wait for your journey so far and um we can't wait to please follow obina like his works he has ig handles for those who are into illustrations i want to get inspiration designers who want to get inspiration he's got uh, several designs on as drawn by obi as right drawn as drawn by Obi, and then the actual design, his design and clothing um, IG handle is omero.ng, at omero.ng, all right? And you can also follow his, his style IG handle, 
which is Obi Nomero. That's his own and where he puts out his style creations and stuff. Awesome thing. So let me let out the secrets that I've been holding on to from the beginning. Obi Nomero is my which papa. Is. <laughs> yes, he's my one and only yeah. brother. And I'm excited. Yes, you can beef me right now because our family is full of creatives. I mean, I love my funny family. Funny enough. It's so funny, funny how we funny all enough. ended up being creatives. Can you imagine, Obi Nazir? How did that like even happen? From, everybody from their different fields. In a different medicine, world. For banking, <laughs> construction, um... IT, everybody from the different artists. fields uh, my twin came sister into the creative also became field. an unofficial makeup artist and event planner. I mean, which, it's just which actually, interesting. Which actually <laughs> brings us to a different point, like to another point. Like, it's very, very possible for everybody to find hmm. their creative. Hmm. I believe that the creative is in and every one of us. Hmm. But we're just patient enough with ourselves to find what that um, thing is. It might not necessarily be being a fashion designer. It might mm. not necessarily be being a makeup artist because I'm, I'm, those, I'm are not... things, those are the only aspects of creativity that we literally like put Look up up, there. But there are so many aspects of creativity. But there are creativity. so many other things that you could do from even indoors to... Um, interior, be exterior, exterior. There's so much. I mean, when you started... Illustration, it wasn't even known in Nigeria, right? At and the time. So you can now actually it's, discover it's thank you. you can actually discover something new that is new to your space, new to the people around you. And then before you knew it, you're like the um pioneer of that um occupation, or you know, you're like a leading person in that mm. sector or in that mm. field. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Obina. I'm super proud of you. My brother, my friend, he was my first stylist when I was trying to put my wardrobe together when we were younger and teenagers, yeah. right? And I'll tell Obina, Obina, I'm trying to do this. He's like, no, do it like this or do it like this. When we were doing some of those things, we didn't even know what we were doing. I didn't Honest. know that I was going to be the polished coach that I a am coach. today. Helping Thank people you. in the area Thank of appearance, you. behavior, you. and communication. And yeah. you becoming the stylist, the designer, the illustrator that you are today. These were things that we were doing when it didn't For even fun. make sense. So, and we did, I mean, fun. we didn't have the Instagrams and the accolades or the, you know, the platform to actually make it big. Today, yeah. we may not be as big as we want, but this was somewhere that we became comfortable in before even it became a thing now. Think, and that's yeah. just to buttress what you were saying, that when you find Cons yourself and be consistent, be that person, in a short time, the people that need you will find you. Yeah. Because you have to look a certain, you have to be, in character, if I may use that word, you have to become that person for people to know or to be able to 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 discover you, to find you, and it will take training. It will take you upgrading yourself, upgrading exactly. yourself, continuously to... exposing yourself to the kind of person you want to be, finding the people that look like you, beginning to pick up, not necessarily become them, but pick up things about them that you can add to yourself as you continue to improve the best version that you want people to see. And it's only a matter of time and people will start paying attention. It has it's, been truly really rewarding. Yeah, you sorry? Something? Yeah, it's only a matter of time. Like, you have to be intentional with your growth. Mm -hmm. um, learn from as many people as you can. They don't have mm -hmm. to be people necessarily around you. Like I said, you have social... Well, there's social media now, but we didn't have social media then. You know? mm -hmm. So you can pick up, find different mentors in different aspects of life and learn mm -hmm. from them. Apply what they do, apply what they have to your own um, space, to your own lifestyle and see how it turns out. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Obina. Please follow Obina, like, you. share, you know. I'm going to post this video. For those who are just joining us, let me tell you, you missed. You missed a lot. Obina's downloaded was fire. 
So I'm going to post this for you, the, for your benefit. Those that are just joining in, we're done, right? <laughs> we're done. So please go right back, listen to the video, and take in so much. Thank you, Obina, for your time and your patience and for really sharing your story with us. I'm sure somebody was encouraged today. For those who are just coming in, please go to my page, follow and like and listen to this particular video. Trust me, you are going to pick a whole lot. Obina is the, I, oh, we will replay. Oh, you definitely replay. You definitely have to. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for the love, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Please, I'm going to put this up again. Go and watch it. Like, follow Obina and um, continue to encourage his work. Congratulations again, Obina. We had the Thank privilege you. to be um, the first person or uh, the first uh, conversation that you're having okay. as the first ever Design for the Stars winner. Yeah. Male I think winner. I spoke, I think Congratulations. I spoke up today. I yeah, I was going to ask, how do you feel today? Like, how, how, how was it for you? Yesterday was... <laughs> For me, I had been you want on... some money. Are you gonna share some of that money? <laughs> Who knows? Let, let me put you in, in the hot spot on social media. <laughs> well, there's be some sharing in all honesty, there's gonna be some sharing, but we don't know who the beneficiary is. Benefi <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice one, nice one, nice one. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Obina. And we are rooting for you. Uh -huh. Trust we will always be rooting for you. Congratulations, and um, uh -huh. we wish you the best of luck. We're looking out for what how you're gonna appear on the in the AMBCAs, and those are gonna be wearing your pieces. We cannot wait to see it. So, have a lovely Tuesday. Thank you, everyone, thank for the love and the support. Thank you, everyone. And go like. Follow, enjoy the video, take up the lessons, and I want to be able to see you become the next original figure that we're going to interview or have a conversation with. All right? Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Cadizine or whatever, go and watch the video. I'm putting it up now. <laughs> All right, Amina. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.